or finding people over the internet. Today I'm going to be installing a brand new two terabyte hard drive in my PC here. Just uh, I just ordered it a few days ago, $50. Mm, great. And uh, I got this for, and I, for my PC because it's running low on storage and for another purpose that I, we will discuss in an upcoming live stream. So let's get started on building this thing. Well, actually putting in a new hard drive. All right, so here's my PC. It's actually about four years old. I got a fourth gen i7 here and I, and I just got a brick. A few months ago, I got this GTX 1650 and great budget card. And I took it a hard drive bay for trying to put in another hard drive I had somewhere around here. And it was quite old and it was like a potato and I couldn't get it to work. Anyway, but here I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put this in, connect all the cables, and then we can, uh, there's plenty of tutorials how to do this, but I will go through the steps of actually getting this hard drive to actually format, format it and make sure it actually works and save your data to that. So, we'll do that. All right, so I have the hard drive secured to the hard drive bay thing. And then you got your SATA port here and then your uh, SATA power port here. And I have a SATA port here. And then I also actually have an old DVD drive in here that we never really use, so. I'm gonna steal that SATA port. And sorry if my case is all like all black and stuff, so it makes it really hard to see. But I will try my best. I will link a tutorial down in the description for uh, that I'm using to one connect this and but two to get this to work. So check that out if it, my if what I'm doing doesn't work for you. All right. So there you go. All right. Uh, turns out, guys, that don't just put it in any other SATA port. You want to put it in the uh, the next SATA port. Otherwise. It won't show up, so, uh, yeah. Now let's go over how to format it. Alright, so now that we have the hard drive in our computer, the tutorial that I will link in the description will have all the steps needed if to go through the control panel to actually access the, the, uh, the area needed to format your hard drive so then you're able to use it. But for me, I'm just going to go in the search bar here and search disk management create and format hard disk yep all right you must initialize a disk before a logical disk manager can access use the following path size like your disk we're gonna hit okay all right all right so here we are in disk manager here's my basic one terabyte hard drive see like a, a lot of it has been used up so oh there's my dad Okay, so right now we are going to, this is my original drive, and here's the new 2 terabyte hard drive I got. So, let's go ahead and start trying to format this. Alright, turns out what you want to do, I did it to MBR, Master Boot Record, what you want to do is GPT, Guide Partition Tables, you want to like right click, convert to, I already did it, but you want to do, uh, make sure it's, if you see it to convert to MBR disk. You want it like this, but you want it to be uh, GTP, but GPT, which I've already done. So, and uh, now let's start formatting. All right, so now that this is done, and this is still unallocated, so now we want to click on it, all right? And then we want to right click, new simple volume. This is the wizard to help you actually set up the hard drive or SSD. Well, the last system volume, yep, this is the uh, maximum disk space in megabytes, yep, okay, blah, blah, next. Assign the following letter. Hmm. It, notice there's no C because it's already drive C. But I think I'm going to do E. Assign the following letter. Mount blah blah blah. Didn't notice another. Next. Okay. Format the volume. Blah blah. blah. File system. I believe it, you want it to be NTFS. Hold on. Let me check. Okay, yep, you definitely want it to be NTFS. You want it to be format in this volume. And then we're just gonna leave this at default. Again, if you wanna know more information about this, you can go check out the link I put in the description. I'm gonna do a quick format because I do not, uh, so I do not want this enable file and folder compression stuff because I, will, I really don't need that, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna review your settings, finish. Now this is gonna take a probably quick two seconds. It's okay, so it's formatting, it's a quick format, healthy. Boom. All right, there we go. And it's 
and it worked. But now I want what I want to do is save my new. My, I want to save all my new files to that drive. So see, new volume. E oh, I forgot to name it. So let me do a rename. We'll call it uh, two cap uh, TB. Boom. Two terabyte. Because that's my two terabyte drive. Now, what I want to do is I want to save all my new files to that. So I'm going to go into the settings. In win I'm in Windows. This may take a while. And let me find the area. Hmm. Certifications, power, apps, optional features, search, crita, gaming, ease of access, personalization. Well, well, let's poke around here. Let's go to system. See what that gives us. Display, sound, storage. <clears throat> ah. 883 gigabytes used out of 46.5. Oh, yeah. This this is going to take a while. View storage on other devices. Change for new content and save. So we're going to click here. All right. New, uh, new apps will save to 2 terabyte E. We're going to change this all to the new drive. And then... We're going to apply all of these to this new drive. All right. So now, every new file that I save should be saved on this new drive. All right. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching so much. And, oh, yep, see that refresh? So that means all the new files from here is going to go save there. Well, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day. Adios, amigos.